Hi right, YouTube. It's Mel out at Mel's place. I'm going to try to get the uh, 140 set up today to get the garden healed up. I've got all my, I think I've got all my parts laid out here. It's kind of my first official time of being in charge of this stuff. I've got my sweeps, my bars for them up here. I've got my healing disc up there in the front. And my ridge buster too. I, uh, my uncle says I need to put that in there. I'm not real sure about that, but I'm gonna do it his way because if I don't, he'll tell me I did it wrong, and we'll we'll have to go back and do it his way anyway. So we're gonna get that started here in a minute. All right, we're gonna start here. Got to get this bar hung up here in this hole. And then get my RPM back in here. We'll repeat that on the other side. Alright, now we've got to hook our lift in. Pull that up here to my fast hitch and it's twisted on me. Well, let's get that straight. Alright, let's try that again. Then we're up here on a hitch, a washer, and our RPM. Alright, there's no way I can hold the camera and get this sweep up into that spot without cussing and making a mess. So. We'll just do some pictures of that for you. All right, so I got it in there pretty well centered. Now it's time to pull out what I always call the 140 wrench growing up. Because pretty much every thing that you had to tighten on these cultivators and all on these hitches use this wrench learn to tap them a little too because when you don't it's always fun to find these parts when you drop them in the garden behind you and you go do the same thing to the other side here all right so my middle buster goes in that side and there's a bracket on this side the piece that holds it's just old piece of square bar stock like well not really a square bar stock it's hard as it can be um which again i don't think i can hold a camera and do so i'll put a picture up when i get it done all right now my healing disc i got to be honest i don't even know i have no clue how far in they should be so i'm gonna be guesstimating this uh, quite a bit. I've already figured out I need to take that clamp back off in order to, to make this work. So and then we'll get that up here. Alright, so here she sits. We, I think I've got everything how it needs to be. I honestly have no idea what angle or depth to set these hillers at. Um, the only thing I'm relatively sure I got straight or done correctly were the rear sweeps so i'm gonna make sure she's got some gas in her and fire up and see if i can't lay off a crooked row um kind of new at this too so let's see how it goes all right youtube let's see if she's gonna crank this morning she can be kind of cold natured
right guys I'm back I had to move those hillers out just a little bit to make it do what I wanted to but I um, got the garden put like I wanted I borrowed a um, there you go right there I borrowed a uh, an actual planter to kind of flatten the hills out that's where that came from um, I think for now I probably will add some more rows to this garden so I'm gonna leave this set up just like it is here um, everything back here sorry for the angle did what I wanted it to but um I guess that's it for today I think the rain probably supposed to be moving in here sometime here pretty soon so uh, we got her put to bed for a few days uh, feel free to like and comment uh, subscribe if you would um, still trying to get that count up a little bit um that's it thanks